In the last video, we developed the idea of the derivative function from extending the idea of the derivative of a function at a particular number. Well, since we've discovered that we can create a derivative function, then we could sketch its graph just like we can sketch the graph of any of our other functions. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the graph of the original function and see if we can sketch its derivative function. All right, we're going to start with a piecewise function. Everybody's favorite. So this is how it's going to be defined. So f of x equals the line negative x minus 5 when x is less than or equal to negative 5. It's equal to the line 2x, I'm sorry, 2 fifths x plus 2 when x is between negative 5 and 0. And it's equal to the line negative 2 thirds x plus 2 when x is bigger than or equal to 0. So it is a it is a collection of lines on different parts of its domain. Okay, so now let's talk about the derivative function um, for this piece of f. Well, I'm sure you would agree that for any x value I choose when x are uh, for uh, less than or equal to negative 5, the tangent line to the curve at any of those points will actually be the line itself. So, this tangent, so the, the derivative function here is going to be just the constant function and it's going to be the slope of this line which is negative 1. So I'm going to even write my piecewise function over here. I'm going to write it in red. So f prime of x equals, it's going to be negative 1, that's the slope of this line because for every x value over here its slope of the tangent line is the line itself. So the slopes are the same when x is less than negative 5. Now we'll talk about this in a later video, but right here is an issue. So this is our pointy point, which means there's no derivative here, here, and that's it. Okay, stay tuned in another video to see why that is. All right, so the derivative for any x value between negative 5 and 0 is going to be the slope of this line because every tangent line to this curve for these points is in fact this line itself. So it is 2 fifths for x bigger than negative 5 less than 0. And the slope of the tangent line for any point bigger than 0 will be the slope of this line right here which is minus 2 thirds for x bigger than 0. Okay, so now we can take all this information and sketch the derivative function over here. So it's the constant function negative 1 for x uh, less than negative 5. So that's the derivative piece for x less than negative 5. It is 2 fifths for x between negative 5 and 0. So 2 fifths is somewhere here in the middle. And remember it doesn't exist there or here. So I have open circles and I draw my horizontal line to represent the constant function y equals 2 fifths between negative 5 and 0. And lastly, it's negative 2 thirds, so somewhere down here, for x bigger than 0. All right, so this is my graph of my function f. This is the graph of its derivative. All right, let's look at one that's not so precise, but maybe we could kind of do a couple of them. We could do some rough sketches. So let's start with this first one right here, and I'm going to get my ruler. And let's see if we can sketch what's happening here. First and foremost, right here, if I were to draw the tangent line here, it is a horizontal line, which means its slope is 0. So what I do know is that my derivative function is 0 when x is 0. All right? Now, if I were to ask you about what this slope is, well, you could say lots of different things. Maybe you would say it was negative 3. It's definitely negative and negative 3 is as good a guess as any. Now if I move it a little bit this way, so as my x moves to the right, I'm still negative, but perhaps less so. Maybe negative 2.5. And as I keep moving along towards 0, my slope stays negative, but it's becoming less and less and less and less negative. Okay, so maybe I started down here, and I Got, I stayed negative, so I stayed below the x-axis, but I became less and less and less negative until I got to 0, which we agreed was 0. Now what happens as I move on to the right? So as x gets bigger, 
Well, then my slopes grow. They're positive now, and they're getting more and more and more and more and more positive as I move x in the positive direction. So it starts to grow this way. So if this is my graph of f, this is a nice sketch of its derivative function. Now let's look at this one. You can see that it's 0. The derivative, or I have horizontal tangent lines here and here, so I'm going to be 0 here and here. Right? This, is, this corresponds to the derivative value at these particular, uh, so if this is a and this is b, that's a and that's b. My derivative is 0 at b and at a. Okay, so what's happening here? I'm positive, but I'm less and less and less and less positive as I go this way. So I start positive, but I am decreasing in my positiveness until I hit 0. Now, let's see what's happening here. Let's be careful. I'm becoming negative, so I should dip down into the negative uh, part of my graph until about right here, and I get more and more negative, so I should be going down. Now, look what happens about right there, I would guesstimate, because I'm just doing a rough sketch. I'm still negative, but I start to become less and less negative. So what does that mean? I'm going down and down and down until at some point I, come, I start to switch directions and become less negative, so I start to go back up. But my, notice I'm still negative. I'm just now becoming less and less and less negative until I get to B, which is 0. And then what happens when I get past B? I start to grow in a positive way, and up I go. So if this is a graph, a sketch of the graph of F, this is a nice sketch of its derivative graph.